This video is brought to you by Instant Gaming. Plain and simple, you're looking for PC games, you're looking for Xbox, you're looking for PlayStation. You come here, find what you're looking for, find it at a cheaper than retail price, purchase it, get your game key, redeem it on Steam, and you're ready to play. They've got a vast catalog of all the hottest titles, even discounts on some that haven't even been released yet. The regular price is $29.99 on Steam, and you can get it for the low price of $19.04 right now. Instant Gaming. Your game, your price, your instant. Just do it. Also, they partnered with me to host a giveaway where you can win the opportunity to pick out a game you're choosing. Make sure to check out that link and my affiliate link in the description below. Now back to the video. All right, people, hope you're doing good. We got ourselves a potential war brewing. We're gonna be helping our friends over in Greenspire. It looks like Lakehold has been a little tyrannical to these people and they're wanting to break free. So we're sending over a squad. We got 31 people. Hopefully we'll have enough to take these guys down. Okay, we've just arrived. So it turns out that Lakehold was too much of pansies to come after us in Greenspire when they were gonna go independent. So they're now their own alliance head. We're allied with them now, in a sense. We got a peace treaty going, but we have decided to come for lake holes. So we're going to burn this thing down to the ground. So they only got 30 people, nine combat skill. Their equipment <laughs> compared to ours is laughable. We got 41 on the ground, 11 combat skill total. But that's largely because we got a lot of untrained people in here, kind of as cat and fodder. But we're going to see what we can do here, okay? Okay, so let's see. We got four squads over there. It looks like they got two squads of archers. So what I'm thinking here, because I've got a single big unit, right? I've got a lot of people, but if they try to get around me and flank me when I'm infantry go in, I'm going to be at a little bit of a disadvantage. So what I'm thinking is I do protect archers and stay in the back. So I keep my commanders under control here. I can go for their archers first. I don't, I don't know if that's like a full archer unit. It looks like it's a mix. This one also looks like a mix so i think i'll just go for this one first and what i'm thinking is going to happen is they're just going to all get baited out into into attacking me let's see what happens here though i want to keep them all clustered together as well Ooh, Ooh boy okay we'll protect the archers come on yep protect the art protect the archers protect the archers okay Just let them all come in. Yep, there we go. That's perfect. Oh, they got past. That's not good. Okay. Ooh, I got people going down. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. No. You bastards. <laughs> all right, we can go ahead and take them out. That was my fault because I actually had um he he was injured. So I shouldn't have I shouldn't have brought him to begin with. I, I had a bad feeling about it, but I wasn't hundred percent sure. <laughs> but they're down. Sweet. So of course we had one die. We know who that one was. Dang. I'm so sorry, buddy. So this is cool. So we took out their Ooh. Yeah, we took out their I don't know what, what's going on here. Either we, I, I, that person's dead, I'm pretty sure. So we took out their entire family. All gone. All gone. You'll be able to settle the ruins with your lords and peasants whenever you wish. A new noble family will be established. That's really cool. So who would I want to settle the ruins then? It's like we got Violet. I'm king, so I can't be assigned to the task. Three lords can't be given the task. Is a queen, can't be assigned to the task. Yep, everybody's yep, 18, under 18. So Raphael, which of course he's he's gonna be my future ruler. And Rhea. Well, I think the easy choice is gonna be Rhea because she's not married to anybody. I wasn't really quite sure what to do with her. Right now she's training up my army, like helping to train, but I can get somebody else to assist with that as well. They're they're not bad. Also, but they're they're Tanaya though. I don't know about that. But they're not that bad. I think I'll go ahead and send Rhea. Let's do that. 
All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to be working my butt off to try to take down these Wind Peak guys. I've been following your suggestions about doing the hall robbery over and over again. I actually successfully did that a little bit ago, and I got 2K gold. Um, Mike, wait, my game's lagging. Where are they going? Oh, they're going for Goldshire. Where is Goldshire? <laughs> I'm not sure where that is right now. Oh, sucks to suck, buddy. Jesus Christ. I think they're trying to break vassalage. This does give me an opportunity to take a look at their stuff, though. So they got nine combat skill, 31K in terms of their equipment score or equipment cost, 214 units. It's going to be a very difficult fight, to say the least. I'm going to have to work my way up to them. This is going to be an in-game one for sure. But if I can get the help of other people, like other factions, maybe we'll have a chance. We'll see, though. Thanks for now, guys. That is so cool. She looks great as a ruler. In Lakehold, a settlement for a new noble house has been founded. That is going to be awesome to see how this progresses. She already got a husband? Is that what I'm looking at? I don't even know who that is, but okay, I'll take it. That's really cool. That is really, really cool. I wonder what we can do there. You know, like, what? We, is there anything different that we can do so okay we can enter a peace treaty that's cool i guess we'll do that for sure oh wow oh okay that doesn't work right now so i'm assuming maybe they have to get time to get their resources together because i see yeah that they have they they what is that they sell herbs and buy tools so that's probably just going to change after a little bit of time cool though wait this guy just straight up becomes a free lord in my settlement are you for real? <laughs> Can I recruit him? Because that'd be hilarious. That'd be absolutely hilarious. I might give him a free lord title. Nah, oh, well, that's too expensive. That's way too expensive. Nah, I don't know about that. Nah, he should be working for me for free. He should be a prisoner, really. If I get his relationship up from negative 93, maybe I can recruit him. <laughs>